What is up guys, YST here and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having an amazing day. Today you may be thinking, who is this massive beast chilling in the background? We're currently in the Grave of Rot and it's a new boss that I've encountered on my journey in Dragonair Silent Gods. And we're actually going to be showing some of the sponsored highlights that we did over on Twitch. Where we're going to be showing the new legendary hero that I managed to pull. Like, I was hyped. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And then also my progression as well. And then towards the end of the highlights, if you guys want to stay tuned. I actually want to show you where I've got to after that as well. Because I've been loving this game, right? <laughs> I've been in the background, grinding it out. And I've invested in my heroes quite a lot since then. So it'd be really cool if you guys want to hang out till then to see where we got to as well. And if you guys do want to download the game, it's in the description below. And if you want to add me as a friend, Caplox, YST, come and join in and shoot me a message of your progression as well. It'd be cool to hear from you guys. But I mean, which I'm trying to think of which one I'm in. I'm in Interplanet 2 as the server. So that's the one I'm in, guys. So if you can get in there, or currently in there, that's where I'm hanging out, taking down the Temporal Vortex and all of that good stuff. He's like the guild boss for anyone that's new to the game. And yeah, um, it's available on Mac, PC, mobile devices, iOS and Android with some future releases on Steam as well. And it incorporates some tabletop RPG mechanisms represented by D&D. &D, and it's an open world fantasy game where there's a lot of things to explore, which is really cool. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the highlights and I'll see you towards the end for an update of my account. Let's get into it. Um, let's go. Let's, we've got five summons. We're five from Pity. It's my first ever legendary hero coming out right now, guys. I'm hyped. Do we do it in a five pool or do we go for singles? Do you guys, shall we do the dramatic effect? But it goes, well, it's going to come anyway, right? Oh, let's do it. We're going for the five pool. Come on, Casper. Casper, right now. Casper? Alright, so we got a Vanny. Alright, let's see what we got, guys. I'm scared. Notira, okay. Another Notira. I hear a ghost. Okay. It, it's not the Casper. It's not the Casper. She looks pretty cool. She's got a big bow. Like a wolf bow. Uh, what does she do? Hopefully some poisons. Oh, yes. Okay, nice. I was actually just speaking about this at the start of the stream that I didn't have a poisoner. So this is my first one. That's not like a common, <laughs> pretty much. I think it's that cold dude. He's the only one that I got. So um, do you know anything about this one, Cold Brew? Like in terms of how good she is? Gains one stack of permanent enlightenment up for each enemy inflicted with poison, which cannot be dispelled. Solid DPS. By his three bolts at random, dealing poison damage with a 50% chance of inflicting one stack of poison for 15 seconds. Okay. By as an arrow dealing poison damage to enemies within range. Okay, that's... Alright. Seems like there's a lot going on in the kit. Like, I did need a poisoner, so I guess that kind of answered what I needed, right? So, I guess she's going to be the next one that I invest in. Pretty cool. Here we go. Just for you guys. Let's do it. Bring it home. We're going to do it. No pity this time. Straight Lego. Oh, we got an epic. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, so, okay. This is... All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dragonair. So basically, right, I've been wanting Casper, who's the jester, the legendary, right? It was like my favorite one that I've seen. But it gave me a jester, but in the form of an epic. I'll take that. That's nice. Increases all crit damage by 30% in dungeon battles. That sounds pretty good, right? Summons a Fortune Phantom at the designated location for 45 seconds. Up to three Fortune Phantoms can exist at the same time. Necrotic damage again as well, which I need to learn a little bit more about. This hero linked to summon units so when I summon... Okay. Cool. I managed to get, I managed to get a Jester. I'll take it. Uh, this one. This is the one that I wanted, but we got something pretty close. Arguably, the epic looks better. I don't even think I've seen the epic before today. Arguably, the epic does look better. Where's he gone? He was a fire dude, right? Yeah, here he. Oh, this dude here. I don't know. Which one do you guys think is better, the legendary one or the epic? In terms of the skin, I don't know. I, I slightly like this one. Looks a bit dark, right? I thought it was a bit more jolly. And poor vortex. To be fair, let's go to the vortex. I don't think we're going to be able to get that far to deal any more damage than I've been doing. So let's just get this one done for now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take on the big boss. 
So poison's really good for this boss, right? From what I believe someone said that in my comment section earlier. They said bring in the poisons and you start to see crazy damage. So this, this is where I think like the new legendary might be pretty good, right? Oh. How much damage are you on right now? 70,000. I think my max was maybe 140 or something. Are there bosses that is bigger than this dude? Yeah, it can't be, right? He has to be the biggest one. Come on, can we reach past the 140? I think my Dane dies around here. Ugh. Nice heal on time. Alright, so we passed the 140. Ooh, we're low. We are low. Clutch heal, defense. Oh, come on, guys. We're getting some good damage here. You're going to go for the Dwarf. That's the one that I went with on uh, pre-access. And then on the main global access. And I switched over uh, to the Lizard Dude. Actually, we haven't done Arena today. Let's go do some Arena. Let's see if we've got some easy battles. Can we try her out just for fun? She hasn't got any equipment on. We're going to have to put some equipment on her. Let's just see. <laughs> Can she do something here? Boom. I'm keeping well, thanks. Appreciate you asking. I think there's a boss here. Oh, Grave of the Curse. Yeah, I'll be powerful enough to do this dude now. Level 35. We'll give him a crack. This is a new boss, guys, that I've not faced yet. Oh, look at him. Oh, I don't even want to mess with him. So the enemy has 10 resistance. When confronting them, heroes that exceed 30 accuracy have a higher success rate when inflicting debuffs or control effects, removing shields and dispelling buffs. Okay, interesting. Regardless, we're going we're going head head first into this one. Come on, let's do it. Take him down. It's a cool looking boss, though, right? Oh wait! Oh, I didn't click auto. I'm not even using our skills yet. There we go. Boom. Oh my. He got sat down. We might be able to do the next level, right? Depending on how hard it is. You try. Let's do the next stage. What level is it? 55. Could be a stretch. We're going to try it anyway. <laughs> we ain't got a tank. <laughs> We've just got healers. It's like I summoned all of these heroes and I've not had the, um, the investment time on them in terms of gear and who I actually want to choose yet. So I've just been like learning the mechanics and who's like best for each piece of content and things. And then I'll start leveling them up. But what I wanted to do was get as far as possible until I get stuck. Like we kind of are now in a sense with the storyline. So then now I can start investing in goblin lairs and all of that stuff. Ooh. Oh no. I thought we might be able to slaughter the next stage, but we seem to be struggling a bit here. We've got some recovery over time. So he's just going to keep putting that shield on after each threshold, right? Yeah, it's looking a bit dicey. Horus is like everyone's main tank, the three day login. Is that the dwarf dude? The big, the big jacked up guy? How do you upgrade your characters past level 30? Uh, we have to do the... Well, well we're going to lose this one anyway. Get me out of here. So I'll show you an example. I can't actually do it like crazy good. But um, I can show you like the first stage so you guys can see like um, an example of the domains and the dungeons in a sense. So like level 2 I got a bit stuck on. Because I didn't have like that fundamental. So um, damage dealt by heroes decreased by... So because I didn't have any poisons... So I did want to implement my new legendary. So this is what I was mentioning earlier, but I was struggling because I didn't have a poisoner. So we'll do uh, level one for now, just to show you guys the boss, an example of it. My blade is ready. 
Um, exclamation mark promo code if you want to see all of the ones that's active at the moment. Not sure entirely which ones are, but. Yeah, well, that's why we got that um, the cleanser, right? That um, other one. So we need to invest in her, invest in the legendary. So there's a few fundamentals because I didn't have a cleanser before, which is why when we got that little chest uh, from the trail that I wanted to choose a cleanser. See, this one's just super easy. Then the next stage, I just really struggle because of the splash damage that comes out from the fire, right? So look, if we go to the next stage now. I'm really struggling because I don't have that fundamental of the cleanser. So I'm going to have to invest in her, but I need to do goblins for that. You know, rank her up a little bit. Be my firewood. Be my firewood. The amount of times I heard that, I'd be rich if I got paid a pound every single time. Oh, really? Yeah, just stay tuned. Like, once um, new ones come, we kind of keep them updated and stuff. But um, if you guys do want to enable uh, Twitch drops and link your Twitch account to drag you there while you're watching the stream today, um, you can just get some free rewards by watching on Twitch. But you just have to make sure that you link your Twitch with your Dragonair. I'll show you guys how to do it briefly, but or where to find it. Oh wait, I'll show you after this battle. We might as well get some rewards, right? Whilst we're hanging out today, you know. So look here, she, it seems like oh, like this is easy peasy. We're living a good life. You know, we got some heals, everyone's alive. You hit that threshold and boom, hits with that fire. So we've got decreased attack on now. Can we reach the threshold while that's active? So watch, she's going to come through the burn now. Boom. If I take one more of those without some heals, destruction. You've got a bit of heals. I don't think it's enough. I remember that I die around uh, one third of it. Like one more of those and it's finished. It's just no chance. Here it goes. Bow. So we need that um, dispel, in a sense, or that cleanse. Oh, there's the rift. Is anyone doing rifts again? Because I did want to... Levels... Oh, he's a level 5. Can this guy beat it? Maybe? Very clever. Very clever with the naming there. <laughs> level 70. Um... Let's put a Lola back here. Uh, more thrilling mysteries to uncover. Maybe we just put... Shall we just put Usha in there for the memes? We just put... Um, let's put Dane, right? I'm just hoping that he carries me. He's got level 78 heroes. If I can get some rewards out of this, it'll be nice. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Some nice protection. Are we doing something then? We silenced him. All right, we're in this battle, guys. Let's go. This should give me some good rewards, right? Because this is not my player level. If we beat it. Frost. That Frost Shield. That's pretty cool, man. Boom. Damn, which heroes has this guy got? He's got some crazy looking ones. Oh, look at that. Who is that dude? Okay, so I got, I got stuck here last time. We did get pretty far. But this was like, I was like level 20 back then. So now we're like kind of matched with them, which is pretty cool. Um, is Usha going to be good here? Or do I just try out the... Maybe I take him out. Let's just go like that, right? Spread him out a bit. I just want to see her in action, pretty much. What's this? No healers. I don't think there's any healers this time. It's just damage. Yeah, we're flying through this. I was struggling last time. Let's go. I feel it's cool to finally lose, use a legendary hero. Finally. It's all I've been wanting to use. Oh, oh that was that attack, right? So that, that was, that's the plus 500% one that we've seen before, if I'm not mistaken. It's not like fully optimized yet, but you can imagine how that can maybe scale pretty well. Oh, nice. I'm happy that we're climbing through this now. I was like, last time I was like, yo, get me out of here. Now we like stay in here. Yo, everything is under control. That sounded like Optimus Prime. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Everything is under control. Alright, let's head up to the next floor of the mushroom. Do we actually get to fight the mushroom? Like the boss? So anxious, because I'm pretty sure that there's like a giant mushroom tail. We get to fight. Might be wrong. Oh wait, who's this? I thought that was a plant. Yo, I asked for a boss and look at this. Yo, <laughs> the Lady of Greeneries. 
Wow, that that looks insane. Is that one of those um, man-eating plants, right? Or the bug-eating ones? Oh, oh, no. Yeah, we're going to need some cleansers. Um, we're going to need some cleansers for this one. Ooh. Yeah, we're getting poisoned. Oh, look at that. She's trapped herself. It was just cool to see her, though. That's, that's, that's cool, man. So, all right then, I hope you guys enjoyed the highlights and the legendary hero, which was Fikana. Fisana, have you say her name? But she's been a huge carry for me, especially for bosses in particular. And I'm really trying to get some new poisoners to pair up with her. And I've managed to invest some of the scrolls into her as well because I haven't got any other legendary heroes. We're trying to grind towards that pity and get ourselves a new one, which is pretty close actually. I think I'm around 13 um, Heliite Dices away, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, my adventurer is now 87. I've taken up up to rank 4. And then I've also done the same with Lola, who I would say is my most favourite character so far. Hands down, I've been using her absolutely everywhere. I've invested in scrolls and all of that good stuff. And I've managed to pick up a good amount of epics along the way, guys. Like, there's a few carries in here, a few healers, some nice damage dealers, but... No one <laughs> intrigues me as much as Lola has. So she basically comes through with this. Well, if you click the details, we can see what it's based on as well. But she does like lightning damage. we got silencing in there. we got some attack penalties and all of that good stuff. And she's just been a huge CC slash damage mitigation hero that I've been loving to use. And deals a weirdly absurd amount of damage against like waves in general. Like she comes through. I'm looking at the percentages, right, of the statistics. And I'm like, how is she hitting so hard? I've not even built her for damage, so pretty cool. Um, we've also got Horus, who has been my kind of tank, sits at the front, eats up all the hits for me. And he's a nice little tanky boy from the Dwarves, of course. Uh, we've got a few scrolls invested into him. Um, Dane has been like a kind of compliment to Lola. I don't use him too much outside of the, um, what's it called, the Goblin's Lair. And then we've got some healers in Hexandra, who's a rare. And also Enna that does like a despelling of debuffs. Um, yeah, dispels one debuff from them as well with some heal over time mechanics. And they blend very well together, especially in the stages that I've been struggling on in the campaign. Um, Usha, phenomenal hero. I remember when I was on stream and a bunch of you guys were saying, invest in Usha, invest in Usha. She's a legendary in disguise. And I kind of see what they're talking about. Like the damage that comes out from her is astronomical. And then we've also got this dude in Voresh, who apparently pairs very well with Usha. But I'm yet to kind of find out those synergies. But I've been dabbling in with it a little bit. Just don't have enough resources at the moment. And yeah, that's basically the heroes that I've invested in. And you got to admit, like, the, the settings in this game are really cool, right? That's kind of one of the main things that's kept me in it. It's like, look at this dude, Joyce. Um, we got Irma, look at this. Just really cool graphics, man. But yeah, just to head out of here. So if we go into our campfire... So, so far, what I've unlocked in here is um, an extra level in terms of my marketplace. Or should I say my carts? And then we've also, um, you can do some cooking here. You know, you can make up some brews, some food, and, you know, give yourself some boost throughout battle and some tonic potions to heal. Um, we've also got the equipment forging bench, which I've taken up to a epic variation. I've not unlocked the legendary yet, but we've been trying to gather these resources. Have we got any? Okay, we haven't got any right now. we got some rare ones, but we're going to save this uh, resource for now. I'm a little bit low. I'm a little bit low. Trying to get those epics. Um, we've also got this dude. He's kind of like the tutorial guy. Gives you a few good resources. And then we've got um, this part here where you do certain things in the game. Like you see here, complete these quests. And you get some free rewards as well, such as gems and, you know, just some stuff that you want to, towards your heroes. And then the echoes of the Otherworld Horn, which I've seen some people get some legendary heroes. It's just not been my lucky day yet, I guess. But we're getting a friend ad. What we got going on here? Shadow Weird? There we go. And also, guys, um, I did mention in the intro of the video as well, if you guys do want to add me, just do... Um, how do I add? <laughs> how do I add? Here we go. If you just do like YST like this, full cap locks, I should come up in Interplanar 2 as the server. And we can actually do some riffs together and all of that good stuff. And, you know, you can actually talk with each other and send a few gifts in the inbox. So it's a cool way to kind of reach out to you guys um, within the game as well, right? Uh, we've got Grave of Rot. We've got some other dungeons as well, um, just to briefly show you guys. Um, something that I kind of entice anyone to do if you're new to the game is the current commissions. We get a lot of good rewards. And these kind of add up, gives you free summons, free gems, uh, free gold and 
it's just really nice for progression, pretty much. Uh, we got our main quest, our side quests, and loads of things that I still need to do in terms of purples on my map. And then we've also got the adventure. As you see here, we're getting some extra rewards here. And then these are kind of the dungeons. So the goblins gives us the resources for XP to grind up our champions. We've got the frost domain that gives out these resources to take them to the next level, pretty much. And this is for like all the elements. So we've got like fire, frost, and kind of covers all of the bases. And then we've got our dungeon farms, right? Uh, where we can go through, the higher you get to the stages, the better rarities that you can get, including resources to use in the forge. And I've managed to get to Epic on a couple of them. Um, the boss that you've seen in the intro is the one that I can do on stage 3. And then there's another one in the Deadly Harpy that I believe I can do on stage 3 as well. But I don't think that gives me Epic yet, so I've still got a bit more grinding to do. And yeah, um, that's basically like a small little intro into the game and what I've been getting up to. And if you head on here in the map, uh, this is my current world that I've unlocked. So the more that you dive into it, uh, you can unlock more areas, there's more things to do. Everything that's purple on the map is basically side quests. So little things that you pick up throughout the adventure. You do these side quests, get yourself some free resources, such as the bread, energy or gems, to get yourself some more summons or whatever you want to spend those on. Uh, we've also got PvP battles, right, um, in the Grand Arena. And just to show you guys how this kind of works... So go into the Grand Arena, and boom. So in here, basically the level of your highest hero is the one that gets brought up to... I won't be able to beat these guys, I don't think. Let's see. But well, we could probably beat these guys. Let's just show you guys how it's done. So we're in level 4 at the moment, and trying to get them to the Silver Gladiators. And this is my heroes right now. And what's really cool about the arena in this game is... You can basically rebuild all of your heroes again, just for the arena. So... You can take all of your best gear from your main heroes, put it into your arena comp, and it doesn't, you know, take you off them in the main adventure. So I've got my tank in the front, some damage dealers. We've got Lola in the back. Now here we go. And it's a really cool way to, like, test out your new heroes because it brings it up. As you see, level 87, that's my highest level hero in my adventurer in the mainland. And it brings up all your heroes to that level. So you can just put gear onto them, try them out before investing into them, into the main adventure. Right? And I feel like that's really cool. You can use the arena as a testing phase to see who you want to max up next and try out all of your synergies, pretty much. And we have stuff like the walking trails, where you can go through here, claim some of these, get some rewards along the way, and invest in your champions. And um, these are the summons. I don't think I've got any right now. But well, we got two. So the Starlight Invocations is going to give us up to epic heroes. So you can see the odds here. Uh, up to a 3% for an epic, 20% for a rare. But a bunch of reds in the game are very, very solid. Like, as you've seen, I've been using a bunch with the healers and stuff. And Usha, the damage dealer. Um, and then in here is a 3% to get a legendary. But the pity on it is um, the 35th attempt is guaranteed to be a legendary hero upon consecutive failures. So as you see here, I've done my 35. I got my first legendary hero in the Poisoner. And now I'm around, um, what is that? But 23? 23 summons away from getting my second legendary hero. And if I manage to get 10 after that again, then I'll get another one. But I'm going to have to be grinding the heck out of it to manage to get those. You know, it would be really cool because I'm feeling the heat a little bit. You know, in some areas I'm like, oh, if only I had a beastly legendary hero, um, that would be cool. But yeah, that's just a, a bit into what I've been getting up to, guys, my progression so far. You know, enjoying the storyline. I think it's very in-depth. I've been enjoying it a lot. Like, I have played RPG games in the past, but nothing with, like, the tabletop mechanisms and, you know, the little puzzles that's throughout this. Um, I think there might have been some in the highlights as well, where you can do, like, use your brain a little bit, you know? Use the dice rolling mechanics and um, try to get some hints if you're struggling on them. And they get progressively harder. It makes you think a little bit. But definitely worthy in terms of, like, rewards and stuff. Uh, we got this one here in the Fey Meander, which I've been struggling on at the moment, where it's basically... You climb up all the floors, you beat all the bosses and, you know, all the guys that you face on these floors. And it gives you some crazy rewards. Like, just for an example here, like, um, stage 5, we're getting up to here. And look at all of these here. All of these free summons to potentially get some new heroes. So, I've been trying to climb. I'm stuck on a boss at the moment. I just need, like, some higher resist chest plates to resist tank here. Or, like, a block debuffs, in a sense, um, to get through the boss I've been struggling on. I'll show you who I've been struggling on, actually, before we sign off here. So, 
I was doing pretty well. I don't think I'll struggle with the waves in particular. I think the bosses is kind of like what's holding me back at the moment, which I'm trying to forge some resist chest plates, but it just wasn't rolling for me. <laughs> I wanted to resist tanky it or like a resist aura. I don't have a resist aura champion yet. So if we go into, who should we bring in here? We got Usha. Let me bring in my adventurer. So what she's basically doing is, she's like a poison ivy. She curls up into a little pod and then all of her plants just throw poisons everywhere. And if you don't have a way to dispel those debuffs like this, which we managed to do, it just becomes very hard and tedious, right? Because she's going to deal more damage according to the amount of poison stacks on us. So we're doing pretty well. I haven't played this in a while, but I don't think we're going to survive it. Let's see. Well, if we could do this now, that would be pretty huge, you know. Oh, here we go. 50% pretty close. Can we get a cleanse? Oh, there we go. Oh, guys, we might actually beat it. We're not resisting anything, though. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Do it for the video. Oh, we just need... Oh, we need a heal. We need a heal right now. There we go. Hey, we heals. Dispel the debuffs. Oh, wait, we've got this big nuke coming in. Please, please, please. Load. Load. No, we're so close, guys. We're so close. We did it. I think we did it. Oh, yes. Yes. The ability did come ready, though. The ability did come. Oh, we managed to do it. All right, nice. So we managed to get our reward. What did we get here? Just to wrap things up. Helii dies. Do you know what? Let's do the summon together to wrap this up. Bring it home. Give us a legendary hero. Can we get an epic? Oh, we got an epic. Who did we get here? Ooh, he's a non-dupe because you usually get um resources if it's a dupe to kind of use towards other things. But what does he do? When an enemy dies, the hero gains their remaining ultimate energy. Nice. Cold damage. Based on attack. Increases the chance of granting control. Okay. Some more cold damage with a recharging speed penalty. And accuracy penalty. Interesting. So kind of like a decreased accuracy, decreased speed in a sense. I'll take it. I'll take it. What's the reviews on him? Well, he's only got one review so far with a five everywhere. That guy probably just loves the aesthetics, but... You know, another hero for the, for the Pokedex, I guess. Yeah, guys, on that note, that is going to be all for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. You can download the game now. Link in the description to get involved. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.